To follow along and make your YouTube watermark, you're gonna to wanna to go to canva.com. Then we need a square design. The easiest thing is just probably to type in Instagram and click on a square post. It's 1080 by 1080. This could be 700 by 700 or whatever square dimensions you choose. And then let's start with a blank template to give you an idea of our strategy here. This isn't something for us to look cute, to use our branding and have our logo or things like that. We want this to actually help us get subscribers. So we used to use this red YouTube subscribe button or that's essentially what it was replicating. The thing is YouTube recently changed their design. The subscribe button looks like this now. It's pill shaped. It's a light gray in dark mode and a dark gray in light mode. We could create something like that or we could create something using the YouTube red. The thing is here, you need to upload a square design. That's why we're using this. But if you want to actually have something that doesn't look square, it looks like a pill, looks like your logo, whatever it happens to be, you're gonna need to be able to remove the background. That's something you can do within Canva Pro. If you wanna try Canva Pro for free for 45 days, you can use our affiliate link down below, or you can just sign up for the free Canva account as well down below. And I'll give you a workaround later on in the video. Also, this first design we're creating using the YouTube red is going to be a square shape. So you can use the free version for this first one very easily. So let's just take the square design and make it YouTube red, which is FF0000. Okay, so that is our background. The next thing we want, I would say, would be the YouTube button. You can see I've used this before, but if you just type in YouTube, you're going to end up seeing the exact same thing. Any design or graphic that you can edit, you'll see the options up above. When you see the colors like this, it means that if you want to create a version of this in pink or green or whatever, you're more than welcome to do that. All I'm gonna do is reverse the colors right now though. So if I click on the red, make it white, then I click on the white, make it red. There we go, we just swapped the colors. Let's grab the corner and make it bigger. Then it's really easy to figure out how to center this. Just grab this by clicking down and then you'll see the little purple lines jump out at you. And so you can see now it's horizontal. It's aligned in the center from left to right. And then we just wanna think about how much spacing we want. So maybe this much along the top. Now let's add some text. You can get text at any point if you just hit T. And then what we want to do is if I hit escape and then I should just be able to click on it and drag it. Now there's a few things we need to do with the text. I have it all highlighted so I can just type subscribe like so. The thing is we don't want this color. We want it to be in white. So let's change that first like so. Then let's change the font. I'm gonna use Open Sans Extra Bold for this. Then we want something much, much bigger. This is gonna be really small. We want everything to be as large as possible so people can read it. So I would say something like that. And then again, what we want to do is make sure that it's centered. Something like that I think would be perfect. If this is the design you wanted, let's actually give it a name so you can find it later. So if I say YouTube Red, watermark. Okay, we're good to go with that. And then if you click on share, then you can download it, download this file and boom, you have a YouTube red subscribe button as your watermark. Now let me show you how to add this watermark to your YouTube videos. Go to YouTube studio and then down here you click on customization. Within customization, click on branding. And at the bottom you'll see video watermark, click on change add the watermark image done there it is we usually start around five or ten seconds into the video don't forget to click on publish in the top right hand corner now if you want to get fancy and do something that's not a square shape like the pill shape subscribe button that's what i'm going to show you next so if we just go back to the previous tab we still have this open blank instagram post and so this is actually really really easy let's just hit t for text let's write subscribe like so, let's change the font to Open Sans Extra Bold. Then what we need is the pill shape. So you could add the shape and put the text on top of it. There is an easier way. If you just hit effects and go to background, then what we need to do is the roundedness. So if we go to zero, it's gonna have pointed corners. 100% is the pill shape that we're looking for. And then the spread is how much border around the text we're gonna add. Something close to 100%, I would say, is 
what the subscribe button I believe looks like. Are you just getting started on YouTube? Well, we recently launched a new YouTube course for beginners called four videos in four weeks. During the course, we'll make sure your channel set up properly. You'll have an infinitely long list of YouTube video ideas. You'll record, edit, and publish your first four videos and come up with a plan to continually create content and grow on the platform. If you want to learn more about this course, check out the link in the description below. Now, before we worry about the color of it, let's get it to the right size. Come on. There we go. Centered. Okay. It's not being cut off at all. I think that's pretty solid. So we're just going to want this part to show up. This is going to be see-through. If you like this yellow and black, you're welcome to use this as well. I think that would catch someone's attention too. But if we wanted to replicate what they're currently using for the button, the text color. So an interesting thing here, if you want to copy colors, you can use an eyedropper which let me just show you really quickly. I have it as a plugin for Chrome, eyedropper, pick color from web page, and we can see what this yellow color is right now. So you can see right here, we have FFED00 is the color of this yellow. I did that for the subscribe button and the text was 545454, 54, which is a fairly dark gray. Then if we go back to effects, you can see the yellow and let's change this one. And this one was F1, 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 which is a light gray like so. So the easiest thing here, if you have Canva Pro, all you need to do is now go to share, download, and then click this transparent background, download. And here's what it's gonna look like. This is actually see-through. If you do not have Canva Pro, also let's just give it a name. Let's now share this. If you're using the free version, you're not gonna be able to do this. You can download it and here's what it's gonna look like. We can still make this work. I'm gonna show you right now. So you can see here, the white shows up. Now to remove the background of your watermark for free, you'll wanna to go to Adobe Express. I have a video that'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to use Adobe Express and two other tools to remove the background for free that I'll link to up above right here. Or if you wanna learn how to create your YouTube banner, an important design that will make your channel look more professional, check out the video down below. Hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.